the channel gay day only happens once per week. Hey everyone, it's Pussy at ActiveGames.com here, and today is gay day. I have thought of no less than four ideas for this gay day, so I decided to combine them all into one big conglomeration recap video, uh, which is basically just going to recap this week in LGBT plus news. This is not everything that happened, this is just stuff that stood out to me that I wanted to do videos on, uh, and so this is going to be one video that has all of that in it, just little bits of each. This might be a recurring thing, if lots of things happen in one week, then I'll do a video talking about multiple things at once and those things and their impact on me and a little bit of my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, welcome to this. This series does not have a name yet, so if you have a name suggestion, leave it down in the comments below and I will probably name it about next time it happens. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. Just a fair warning, these are not in chronological order. These are in order of nothing. I just kind of put them in a random order. So don't worry about it. It did not happen in this order. They all just happened to happen over the past week or so. First things first, Denver has officially decided to make conversion therapy for minors illegal in Denver, Colorado. So not all of Colorado, but in Denver, Colorado, which is a really good move on them. I don't think I have to explain a lot why that's a good thing, uh, because conversion therapy results in a lot of mental and sometimes even physical abuse, especially for minors. And so that is a super amazing thing that they're outlawing that completely. It seems like a lot of cities, states, and places all over the world are looking to follow in their footsteps and make conversion therapy illegal, whether it's just for minors or not. It's amazing that they did this, and I'm super proud of Denver, especially as someone who used to live there, and this is it dearly. Colorado has tried to outlaw conversion therapy for minors no less than four times and has failed every time, so hopefully Denver outlawing it will help the whole state start to outlaw it and will help the whole country move towards a more accepting place where conversion therapy for minors is illegal all around. Next up on the list we have more Logan Paul drama. No one's surprised, just disappointed. On Logan's new podcast, he announced his New Year's resolutions, which included a lot of various different things, but the thing that everyone is currently in uproar about is that he decided he would go gay for the month of March, men only March. And so... Skype notification. I don't really have to explain why that makes no sense. You don't choose to be gay, certainly. And you can't, even if you did, I feel like you wouldn't choose to be gay for like only a month. But like, that is a whole mess. As Logan and his co-host treated this as a very joking, very funny thing to say, it's not. This story is still brewing. There's still stuff that's going to happen, so I'll get back at you probably next week when he said he will discuss it on his podcast again with Glad, who called him out for it um, by saying, like, that's not how it works, because it's not. Uh, I've been over this. Being gay is not a choice. It's just a thing that happens with LGBT plus people, and you can't turn gay for March. You can't turn gay whatsoever. It's just how you are. Blizzard announced another gay hero in Overwatch, which is woo And that gay hero is Soldier 76. This is really revolutionary and exciting because Soldier 76 is another one of the poster child box characters of Overwatch. When Blizzard first said that they would announce LGBT plus heroes, I and many others honestly expected that they would be more background heroes or characters that you might not even be able to play in game, because that's what we're used to getting, background characters and minor characters. But so far, Blizzard has confirmed both Tracer and Soldier 76 to be gay. And yes, they both have used the exclusive terms gay. We do not have any canon bi or trans heroes yet, but I'm hoping that that will happen one day. 
but it's incredible to see both Tracer and Soldier 76, who are both box characters and are widely known as poster children of Overwatch, and the two characters that are most likely for someone outside of Overwatch to know, be confirmed both as canonically gay, uh, and to both have had or currently have relationships with a same gender partner. That's another very rare thing to see. Sometimes you'll see characters confirmed as gay, but they never have a partner, or you see them ambiguously confirmed as having same gender attraction, but never actually confirmed to what their labels are. Overwatch has done a great job by both giving us the labels for Tracer and Soldier 76, as well as showing them in relationships that both were or are healthy. Even though Soldier 76 and his previous partner did break up, they are known to still be in communication and to still think of each other in a good manner, which is also unfortunately a rare thing. You see a lot of unhealthy LGBT plus representation just for the sake of there being representation and it's not very good, or you see a lot of evil LGBT plus characters, and so having two of the most heroic Overwatch characters be confirmed as gay with canon labels and canon relationships is a big deal, and I'm really excited for it. I love Blizzard and I love Overwatch dearly, and this just adds on to my love of the series because they're treating LGBT plus representation so seriously and so well. Another thing I wanted to touch on very briefly is that Gavin Newsom's partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom, has decided that she wants to call herself a first partner instead of a first lady, which I find super exciting and it just briefly touches on something that I did talked about in my how to be a good ally video, which will be in the description below if you want to watch that, wink, uh, is to call yourself a partner. First of all, makes you sound like a cowboy. You can never go wrong with sounding like a cowboy. Sounding like a cowboy? always a good thing. A really common way to be outed is for you or someone else to refer to your partner as partner, as that's reserved kind of for people who are in LGBT plus relationships. But if it becomes a more widely accepted term, then you don't have to out yourself by referring to your partner as a partner. And that is just a very gender accepting thing. Just like using they, them pronouns for a stranger who you don't know the pronouns of, it is just something to help non-binary and people in same gender relationships feel more represented and a lot more at ease while talking about their partners. I always love anyone talking about their partner regardless of what gender either of them are, especially when they're all lovey-dovey and cute. I just love it and I adore it and so it's good to see someone actually taking that into heart. I doubt that she found it from my video, but to see partners start to become a more widely recognized term so that again you don't have to out yourself when referring to your partner as a partner. Those are just a few of the things that happened this week, but those are the things that I wanted to touch on. Let me know if you like this video style in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye bye